Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss what is IQ, OQ and PQ. So these are the three important uh, things which we normally use in validating pharmaceutical products or medical equipments or medical uh, products. If you are working on pharmaceutical projects or medical projects, then these terms are very useful for you and I am going to explain you in detail about IQ, OQ and PQ. If you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and click on bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about IQ, OQ and PQ. First of all, let's understand what is IQ. IQ is nothing but insulation qualification. IQ stands for insulation qualification. So IQ has been defined, the insulation qualification has been defined by FDA of from United States. FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration Agency. What is IQ means the main thing which you are going to validate in insulation qualification is just we are going to ensure that whatever we are going to install the instrument or an equipment is as per the manufacturer's approved specification or not. That is the main thing we are going to do. We are going to validate all the aspects of in instruments or an equipment or even it could be a software. We are going to install whether it is as per the manufacturer's approved, process, approved specification or not. The manufacturer's approved specification is approved by FDA and FDA ensures that this kind of installation qualification has to be done to ensure that whether it meets the standards of FDA. So in order to enter into operating qualification, operation qualification, we should complete insulation qualification. That is, once the in insulation qualification complete successfully, then that would be the exit for Q. Then we'll be move on to OQ. Let's take some example how IQ is going to operate. That is, insulation qualification is going to operate. The insulation qualification Let's say, uh, let's take example, let's say one pharmaceutical equipment has been manufactured, right? It has come for installation or it has come for installing in the computer for software especially. I'm going to test it whether in order to test that whether it has minimum predefined floor space whether it can operate in a preconditions conditions as defined in the manufactured approved specification and also we are going to validate there is no damage exist in the equipment in the same way for software applications related to pharma or medical where we are going to validate such as folder validations and whether it, it is meeting minimum system requirements to install this software. So when we say IQ is successful, installation qualification is successful means how well we are able to follow the installation process is as per the manufacturer's guidelines and it is meeting the requirements or specifications which is approved from the FDA. This is all about installation qualification. In installation qualification, we will be doing the tests such as uh, locations where we are going to install the product or an equipment and whether we have enough space. If it is physical equipment, we will be validating floor space. If we are software, we are going to validate the file specifications or disk space or any damage is available in the equipment or in the software. In terms of equipment, we will be validating how much power it can intake 
what is the minimum threshold and what all the different operating conditions so all these things will be done in installation qualification test i hope you are able to clearly under understand what is iq then let's move on to once understand what is all about oq oq means operation qualification so operation qualifications will be done once we are done with iq so let's move on to understand what all the things we are going to do in operation qualification so in operation qualifications we are going to check the software or an equipment as per the requirement specifications and whether whether it is well within the manufacturer's operating conditions once the oq is done we will be moving into performance qualification that is pq in oq what we are going to do is operation qualification is where we are going to check all the components of an uh, oq just to ensure that all the component is as per the specifications or not whether all these components are working as per the operating conditions or not so everything we are going to validate at the component level for every equipment or an instrument just to ensure that it is meeting as per the guidelines provided by fda so various tests will be done I'm, i have just given some of the examples such as uh, temporary variations card reader access display inputs some of these are the examples of tests which we do in uh, operation qualification I hope you are able to get hold of the complete nitty gritty of OQ then let's move on to understand what is all about PQ the PQ stands for performance qualification PQ stands for performance qualification so this will be done once we do complete the testing OQ in PQ we are going to validate the product in an ongoing basis so we are going to check the product quality in an ongoing basis and we will be validating whether it is performing as expected over a period of time this is we are going to do the test over the period of time just to ensure that it really works as expected which is defined in the fda guidelines i hope you are able to get hold of what is all about pq and also you are able to get hold of iq and oq what is all the what is all about iq oq and pq i am hoping that this video is very useful for you if you enjoyed watching this video then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care